Hi, my name is Josie and we are now in the Poblacion area of Manila in the Philippines. You'll have to watch to see how we ended up here, but we started in the Salcedo Saturday Market this morning where we tried some award-winning street food. The market is a community market that's over 15 years old and it's grown and grown over time. Then we head to Poblacion, a vibrant local suburb right here in the heart of Manila. Let's go and explore the Philippines! So welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Josie, welcome to my channel. We are on the way to the Salcedo Saturday Market here in Makati, Manila in the Philippines. I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> let's see what's around and let's go grab something to eat. But first, we are on the way, we are walking. So let's see a little bit of what Makati City looks like. Hey! Hi! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so we've got about another 800 or so meters to go, another kilometer. It's quite warm today actually, but it's um the first blue sky. Yes, yeah, the day. first blue sky today. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain, but you never know. <laughs> Last night it absolutely poured on us when we we're at the Mall of Asia. Um, but we're just heading down here. I'm starving. It's probably around way past breakfast time, so let's keep walking and get some food. So that is a jeepney so it's kind of almost like a song town or like a bus or something like that and you can catch them around the city but i believe you kind of have to know where you're going or tell them where you're going and we don't know where to tell them to go so well, they run on a designated route but you have to know where you're getting off yeah That's and the difference. we, we don't know, know where we're getting off so oh we're going to cross the road but they're all around here and they are whoo, you can use them to get around as well if you want to Okay, it looks like we're coming up to the market now. This is really exciting. It looks really fun. There looks like we're ready to be like little jars of food and things. So let's, whoo, okay. <laughs> let's go eat, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten here. There seems to be just stalls around the market and lots of little ones set up inside. There's like a little park here as well. And also markets all on the outside on the side of the road also. I'm not sure where to start. So we were walking past all of these markets just out the front and we saw one called like an ube cheese pancake or something and I ordered it and then I realized I have no idea what that is. So I'm gonna have a quick look. We've Googled it. The pancake is Indonesian pancake. The, the pancake style is Indonesian pancake but, but the, the ube is Filipino, right? Filipino pancake, like, like yam or... It's yeah. dessert made from boiled and mashed, pur mashed purple yam. Perfect, all right. Let's try it. So it's really interesting because I'm seeing lots of fruits that I've noticed from Thailand. Like we have like long kong, durian, jackfruit, rambutan. Obviously they're not just for Thailand, we're in the Philippines, but it's just interesting seeing familiar things because now I know what they are. But you have heaps of different fruit. You also have like plants here, things that you can take home, like food you can take home, food you can buy. So we're just having a look all around the outside and then we're going back for the pancake because it has to be cooked. <laughs> So we're getting three pork sticks for 100 pesos and they like grill it on the barbecue and we are the back. Thank you. They grill them out the back on these barbecues and like turn them, they marinate them, they chuck the marinade on top, they cook them all up, turn them over, make sure they're cooked all around and this is what you end up with. And I'm telling you now, I know you can't smell, this smells absolutely delicious. My mouth is salivating waiting to eat these. So let's see how we go. These ones are the pork ones. Okay, hold on. <laughs> there we go. I love the marinade. The marinade is like sweet honey. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really nice. It makes the pork taste so good. Maybe to, not teriyaki. It's sweet something. But the pork itself is a little bit, um, a little bit chewy, not as soft. It smells so good. Super sweet. But I'll tell you this for Aussies watching: the kebabs you buy from Woolies, they cook on the barbecue at home. The beef ones. It tastes like that to me. It might be a bit of teriyaki. It's really sweet. I'm having another one. That's how good they are. Mm, the more I'm having of this, the like more tender it is. That's really good. This one's really, um, really soft and tender. 
we have to go back for that pancake now so so while we're on the way back to get this pancake if you're new here if you like my videos consider pressing the subscribe button <laughs> consider pressing the like button only if you like my videos but let's go have a look at this pancake and let's try it cheese pancake very interesting let's go with your barbecue pardon yeah it was delicious oh <laughs> Everyone here is so friendly. I love it. Okay, so this one is so interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. You can see that it's a pancake. It's a really thick cut pancake. It's purple. I guess that's where like the yam comes into, into play. And then you've got like the layer of cheese on the inside. All right, let's try it. I've never seen this before ever in my life. Oh, why do I like this? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, wow, wow. Whoa, whoa, it's so good. <laughs> the like cheese like melts like a really nice kind of cream cheese sort of flavor the pancakes a little bit crispy on the outside obviously from when they cooked it I don't know why I like that so much it's cheese and pancake why does it work <laughs> I like this this is my favorite so far today mm. Mm. all right let's go that's incredible the pancake is genuinely so fluffy I can't explain on camera how fluffy the pancake is I feel like if I dropped it it would bounce back up into my hand because it's like so absorbent it's like Super fluffy. Oh, this is the best. Mmm. 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 It's so good. All right, so I see it's so hot today. This is probably the hottest day here since arriving in the Philippines. I'm gonna grab a watermelon juice. It looks so fresh. So they poured the watermelon juice into the cup and it was 60 pesos for this large size of watermelon juice. Hopefully it's nice and cold because it is a hot day today. Um, they had different flavors there as well. They had like buco and melon. What's buco? Bucco? Tell me in the comments below if you know what that is. I've never heard of that before. But let me try this watermelon juice. That tastes like a full on watermelon. They've juiced a watermelon there. Well, of course they have. Yeah, How well, <laughs> I know, but it literally, if you taste a watermelon, it's exactly what it tastes. You know how sometimes you have juice and it tastes like sugary or sugar syrupy? It just tastes like a watermelon. So I was walking past those crabs and I saw that they were named male and then a different name. And I asked him if it was female, but he told me that there, um, there's actually three genders of crab and that was the third one. Oh, 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 they're moving. Oh! Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> notice the, the, the apron is uh, conical. The apron is uh, yeah, I see. a little bit wider. Ah, I see. Okay. That was really fun to know, but here I see uh, Lumpia. Lumpia Shanghai. Lumpia Shanghai, which I think, I don't know about the actual official list, but I think one of them says it was voted the best street food. It won, in... it won a street food award last year, where it was number one, and it tied number one with another Filipino dish that we haven't had yet that we'll try soon. Cool. But this was number one, so we should try it. All right, I don't know what it is, but let's give it a go. <laughs> Can I get a uh, Lumpia Shanghai? I love you, Alan. Three for 100. Uh, do you want three for 100? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna try this best street food item. She said there's pork on the inside, so that's interesting. It smells like that. It smells like there's like a, it's like a, a meat wrap, <laughs> which I guess is what it is. Let's try. It tastes like a, like a floppy sort of cold spring roll. Pretty good actually. It's a Filipino version of, of the spring roll. Yeah, it's a version of it, which makes sense. It's really, the first thing that strikes me is it's like pretty oily and really like flopping and cold. So you like not crispy like a normal spring roll is. <laughs> <laughs> like a dim simmer and a spring roll mixed together. There's veggies in there as well. There like, might be a bit of carrot or something there. So there's veggies in there alongside the pork. Pretty cool snack, eh? Just to walk along with. I'll say my favorite of the day so far by far was the pancake. What was yours? The pancake. Yeah, the pancake was so good. But we've done like a whole lap basically of this square around the park that has the market in it. So let's have one last look and then I think we might head to grab another coffee, grab something maybe else to eat there and go from there because it's really, really hot right now. <laughs> let's get moving. Mostly you'd come here, I, I've heard. It's a little bit more of a cheaper budget. Um, but there's more things here. There's like bars, coffee shops, like nightlife and things like that. But we haven't been here before. This is a different part of Manila that we haven't explored yet. Let's go have a look and see what's around this way. I really need a coffee. So let's go find one and then find some more food. 
So this is a tricycle. <laughs> we haven't uh, got in one yet, mostly because I don't think we'll fit. <laughs> but it's another way of to get around, kind of like a, another tuk-tuk kind of thing. Um, but you have to be quite small to fit in that, and I don't think I qualify. <laughs> got my coffee so I actually ordered from grab um, this coffee shop um, the other day and I quite liked it it's in such a really cute cup it's like short and it's just really cute and it has like a flip cup because we know that they don't have like many plastic straws around here which is really cool um, and I kind of liked it so we decided since we we're in the Poblacion area that we'll come and actually come to the shop and try it out it's really small in there um, so I couldn't fit the camera in actually but we'd sit for a second and have a have a coffee that's the story of my life actually having coffee <laughs> Pretty good fresh and cold. <laughs> We've been walking for quite a while. Um, that's a pretty good coffee. So tell me what your favorite coffee shop is here in the Philippines or in Manila. All right, let's sit here, let's finish this coffee and then we might find lunch. Um, we might find something maybe Mexican, maybe. Feeling some quesadillas or something like that. So stay tuned, find out what we have, find out where we go and we'll see you when we get there. So it is raining right now, so we might just wait a second and then we'll head on. <laughs> but it might actually be refreshing to walk in the rain. <laughs> So we're here in El Chupacabra and you may be wondering why are you eating Mexican Spanish food if you're in the Philippines? Well, besides the fact that it's delicious, <laughs> the Philippines was actually colonized by Spain for almost 500 years to my understanding. So there's actually a lot of Spanish influence everywhere in the city, in the names of the streets. You, you might notice that this suburb itself is called Poblacion and it even goes all the way to people's last names are also kind of Spanish. The Spanish also brought Christianity, which is pretty much the dominant religion here in the Philippines still to this day. So that's why there's so much Mexican and Spanish food all throughout the Philippines. So that's why Filipino culture has like a lot of Spanish influence to it, which I found pretty interesting. is the end to another amazing day here in Manila, the Philippines. I am so excited. I have been loving it here more than you know. If you are new here to my channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and the like button before you go. I have so many more videos coming up in the Philippines and I'm so excited to show you them. If you love this video, I know you're gonna like the one where I did my first impressions, my first day here in the Philippines. So make sure you click that one. It's on the screen for you right now and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.